hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin project files are available in the description so you can check it out later and practice it along with them and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition as always and we will call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 10 second long and background color is solid white and simply hit OK. Then we will choose grid and guide option and we will hit on title safe action. Then I am going to choose my text tool and for the font I am going to choose quicksand and I don't want any stroke for this one. I will choose fill and for the fill color I am going to choose pink color and let's type our text i'm going to type love now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now go to the character menu and make sure to decrease the distance between these alphabets i'll choose minus 60 like this now go to the text go to the text and we will go to the animate and we will choose position like this and let's move this upward like make this minus 60 or let's say minus 70 like this go to the range selector and i'm going to create one keyframe at the start let's make this minus 100 and create one keyframe go to around one second and let's make this plus 100 so if you play this now we will get this kind of animation let's move this keyframe towards two seconds like this now we will go to the advanced option and we will go to the shape instead of square i'm going to choose smooth and now if you hit play we will get this kind of animation now alt click on the stopwatch and let's make this loop out expression like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation now as you can see my animation starts from here which is at this point so i'll create one keyframe over here let's move this cursor a little bit forward and animation comes at rates at this point so i'll create one keyframe over here so which is between minus 87 to minus 80 or plus 87 so i'll select these keyframes and i'll delete them and also i'll delete this key so i'll move this over here and i'll move this one over here so we now we don't have any extra keyframes so our animation is gonna be in a continuous loop so select this text hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this second one and for this one i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill i want stroke and for the stroke color i'm going to choose 30 uh, i mean for the stroke width i'm going to choose 30 and color i'm going to choose white color but before that let's lock this layer i'm going to select this text right click go to the layer styles and i'm going to choose bevel emboss now go to this bevel emboss and increase the softness all up to 100 i mean 16 and increase the size to 10 like this and go to the shadow color uh, let's choose a little bit lighter color and opacity i'm going to choose 30 like this let's hide this layer style select this text again right click and i'm going to choose layer style again and i'm going to choose drop shadow effect go to the drop shadow and decrease the opacity to 30 like this and increase the size like this also increase the distance to 10 let's make this opacity 15 we don't want much more opacity like this now let's go inside this thing and i am going to select this layer style i'll hit ctrl c to copy let's enable this low and hit ctrl v so it will apply this drop shadow and bevel emboss on this one also like this now i'm going to select this because this is my main so i'll change the color from here to yellow and now we will focus on this one and this is because this one is in white format so i'll select this and as you can see we don't have white color so i'll choose sand hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll select this one and over here i'm going to choose pink or let's red 
and because it's red i'm going to select this one and i'll type over 30 plus 30 which is obviously 60 and i'm with the help of this one i'm going to select this color and hit ok now i'm going to select both of them and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring them downwards now select this one uh, as you guys know the third one is 60 so this should be 60 plus 30 which is 90 and this one should be 90 plus 30 which is 120 now select select this one or this one and hit ctrl d and let's bring this over here now i'm going to select this one as you guys know the fifth one is 120 so i'll select this one and i'll type 120 plus 30 and for this one we will type 150 plus 30 like this now right click new and create one null object select the all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and you can scale it like this and let's make this chord resolution so we'll get this kind of stuff and let's delete this null now i'm going to select this one i'll press ctrl shift c to make this pre-comp and i'll click on move all attributes into the new composition and i'll hit ok now we will follow the same procedure for all this text like this now i'll hit page down button one times i'll select this one and move this over here again hit page down button select this one move this over here move this over here So now if you see we will get something like this so go over here select all of them by hitting ctrl a hold alt and let's move this trim this composition all the composition with the help of alt open bracket let's go to the start and hit open bracket only so it will come over here and if you guys know that uh, at two point i mean at two second our animation is gonna in the form of loop this is because if i go over here and if you see this text if you hit u as you can see at this point which is at two seconds uh, my keyframes are completed and then i have applied this loop out expression which means if i go to the main animation i'll go to the two seconds and if i hit n over here we will get this continuous looping animation for our text now uh, what you can do select all of them by hitting ctrl a press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as text and hit ok press s for scaling option like this let's go inside them so right click new and create one null object i'm going to select all of them and i'll make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s let's scale it somewhere around like this maybe yeah press s and let's scale it down now you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for cc reptile effect and simply double click to apply and let's expand right make this 1000 or let's say 5000 also this 5000 5000 sorry not 500 but 5000 yeah so if you scale it down will get this kind of stuff and in repeat if you choose brick so you will get this kind of text animations you can press r for rotation so you can rotate your text like this so this is how you can create simple text animation background inside of after effects So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.